All right, so here we go. So uh, 3A, what is this worksheet 4.4? Okay, so uh, right now they're falling down at 20 meters a second. What's the rope going to do to them, you guys? Slow them down. Slow them down until they stop, stop right? And the problem says they fall four meters. So what's that a measure of, you guys? Displacement. Displacement, kinda. Negative. Why is it negative, Griffo? Because they're going down four meters before they stop, right? Why did I give you all this stuff? Find the acceleration, right? So two times a times negative four equals zero squared minus negative 20 squared. Solve for your acceleration and you get positive 50 meters per second squared. All right, so mathematically, the negatives cancel and you get a positive. Conceptually, why is the acceleration positive, you guys? Because they're going in a less negative direction. Yeah, they're moving down to the negative velocity quickly and then they slow down so their velocity gets less negative, which is an increase, which means positive acceleration. Good? Yeah. Did you miss the negative on the four? Yeah. Okay. It's common mistake. All right, everybody get up to that. All right, so parts B and C want to know the tension in the two ropes. All right? So there are a few ways of doing this, but in order to do it, we need to draw a three body diagram first, right? Okay, so sort of your, your conceptual drawing is this. So here's Jackie Chan. Here's his shoelace. Here's Jet Li. Something like that, right? Okay. So the idea is they're moving down. Jackie Chan grabs this thing, and there's the force of tension from this rope, right? Okay. Jet Li grabs on, and there's the force of tension in the shoelace, right? And that causes them all to stop. All right. So we need to make a free body diagram to, to find our tension, right? So there are three choices. You can make a free body diagram for Jackie Chan. You can make a free body diagram for Jet Li. Or you can make a free body diagram for the system. All right? There's only one bad choice. All right? The only bad choice is Jackie Chan. Let's talk about why real quick, and then we'll go back and, and make a right choice. All right? If you look at Jackie Chan, I don't think that JC usually stands for Jackie Chan. Uh, Sorry, it's my little, never mind. I'm going to shut up before I get fired. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, so what forces are acting on Jackie Chan? Gravity. Gravity's pulling him down. <laughs> the rope is pulling him up. The force of tension from the rope and the man. The force of tension from the shoelace, from Jet Li hanging onto his shoe, right? How many of those forces do we, well, there's two of those forces that we don't know, right? So that's a bad choice. Because we don't know either of those two tension forces, right? Follow? All right. So the thing I keep suggesting to you guys is that you're usually best to begin by looking at the system. All right. So let's do this. Let's look at that system right there. All right. So here's my... Jackie Chan Jet Li system. It's got a combined mass of 135 kilograms, right? All right, so what forces act on it? Gravity. gravity. So the force of gravity is negative 1,323 newtons, right? Tension. And tension from the rope that Jackie Chan grabbed onto. Why don't I need to worry about the shoelace? That's an internal force, right? It's in our Jet Li Jackie Chan system, right? Follow? Yeah. All right. I also know my acceleration. So if my acceleration is 50 meters a second squared, I ought to be able to use that to find the net force. Now, Sean, you asked before about gravity. Remember, this net force is the total of the tension and gravity. So it does factor in gravity because gravity is included in this net force. Mm -hmm. Follow? So 135 times 50 gives 6750, I think. Yep. 
Everybody good up to there? So now what? So now I want to go, oh, well, net force is the force of gravity plus the force of tension in the rope. So let's see, my net force, we just found that, that's 6750. Force of gravity is negative 1323. Force of tension in the rope is what we don't know. Solvify it, and the force of tension in the rope ends up being 8,073 newtons, I think. Which I rounded up to 8,100 newtons because I was trying to be significant digity and I shouldn't have because that's confusing and I apologize. Good with that? I don't remember who asked about this one now. Sean, are you good with that? Uh -huh. Everybody good with it? All right. So now to find the tension in the shoelace, you've got two choices. Now we can either look at just Jackie Chan or look at just Jet Li. Okay. Most of you probably just looked at gently, right, just because there's less forces on them, right? But you can do it either way. All right. So that boils down to basically the same calculation again, except your mass and force of gravity are different, right? Would anybody like me to run through it? I'm more than happy to if anybody would like me to. Are we good? Is that a Hamza, you good back there? Everybody happy? Okie dokie. So that was number three. Yes? Yes. All right. Uh...